everyone, Mount Silver Hiker here and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are reviewing a partial trade, partial purchase that I made with an amazing friend of mine off of Instagram, King Jirachi. Now that name might ring a bell because I've made a Hidden Fates purchase from him in the past and he's an amazing, amazing person. Recently, I came to find out that he wanted to complete a loose booster pack collection of one of each set, you know, that Pokemon's ever printed. And just so happens, I had a couple of blisters on hand that uh, I, you know, I was okay with parting with. So we made a trade, and I ended up with a few really amazing booster packs at the end of it. So first of all, in this video, I'm going to go through what I received on my end of the trade. Then I'll show you what I sent him. And then we're going to do an amazing, amazing opening. It's been such a long time since I've opened something that's like some uh, somewhat vintage. So all of you are in for a treat. Without further ado, let's get started. All right, so starting off here, this should be a very, very familiar sight to you. This is one of my favorite modern products that come out in recent memory and it's very true for a lot of people uh, actually pretty recently the pokemon center like briefly restocked this hidden fates elite trainer box for msrp and it just sold out under a minute i didn't even get a chance to buy it from the pokemon center so if any of you were able to get it you know congratulations such an amazing product i had to go through a trade with king jirachi to get this into my collection, but very, very happy to do so. Now the next item that I got from him is just absolutely amazing. It's something that I have one of in my personal collection that I haven't really showed off because just because I put it away in storage to have for many, many years into the future. But I had an opportunity to get more through this trade and I just, I knew I couldn't pass it up. So first up is this, uh, it's an unsealed Hidden Fates pin collection. So all of the pin collection boxes inside are sealed, but he just removed the uh, wrapping. So he just puts saran wrap over it, but everything inside is still absolutely pristine. Really, really amazing. And a product that, uh, uh, and it's a Hidden Fates product that was not reprinted. So they are very, very hard to come by. Even though there's only three packs per pin collection, on eBay, they sell for a lot more. And then next up is the cream of the crop, the thing that I really, really wanted. It is a sealed, sealed Hidden Fates pin collection. All eight of them in pristine collection. Just an amazing product. I have one in my personal collection, um, but I knew that this would be such an amazing product. It's so rare to come by. I knew I had to add it. So thank you so much, King Jirachi, for letting me add this amazing thing to my collection. There's a little hole there, but you know, outside of that, it's just such a minty, minty product. And I'm so grateful to add another one to my collection. So that is what I received on my end of the trade. And I'm really happy to add more Hidden Fates products to my collection. I think this is one of the most amazing sets to come out in recent memory. And I think it'll age very, very well. As you, as I mentioned earlier, it was briefly restocked on the PokemonCenter.com, immediately sold out, so you know that the market has such a high demand for it. So, very happy to add these to my collection. Now next up, I wanna show you what I sent to King Jirachi as my end of the bargain. Don't worry, I also paid him in cash as well, just to cover the differences. Just because what he sent me was so much more expensive than what I sent him, but still, because of this trade, I'm able to open some rare packs in my collection that I've been really, really itching to open. So without further ado, let me show you those as well. So first up, we have a two Two pack sealed blister of black and white era packs. One is the Next Destinies and the other one is Plasma Freeze. So a really, really amazing product and it's also officially licensed by the Pokemon company. So you see all this, um, all the stamps and the amazing, amazing uh, design of the blister pack. Also in front of it, you have the Cobalion, the Terrakion, and the Verizian in hollow rares. So such an amazing product, and I'm gonna keep this completely sealed, send it over to him. Whatever he decides to do with it, that is his, um, that will be up to him. One of the main reasons why I'm okay with parting with this is because if you follow me on Instagram, or if you follow my channel, you know that I'm not a huge black and white collector. I think it's an amazing era of Pokemon. They the black and white era introduced us to full art so we can never take that away from them but i really like xy better and i'm really trying to collect a lot of xy so i figured that this would serve a better purpose in king jirachi's collection now speaking of xy let's go into what xy products i actually sent to king jirachi as well 
So what we have here is a three pack blister of XY Phantom Forces, one of the most sought after and I think it's the second most expensive set in the XY era after Flash Fire of course because Charizard, right? Um, XY Phantom Forces is absolutely amazing and I actually have a booster box of it. The reason I'm okay with letting this go is because I really, really want to open XY Phantom Forces. As I mentioned earlier, uh, King Jirachi just wants one booster pack um, per per set. So that means if we have a three pack blister, I send him one, I get to open two. So that's what we're going to do at the end of this video. So an amazing product and you know, just love the XY era set and I know that you know, this is going to serve his collection very, very well. Also, let's take a moment to look at this amazing Darkrai Hollow. Such an amazing, amazing card. Figured since we're opening up our two packs, I will send him the Gengar one because clearly that's the most sought after one. After all, Phantom Forces is focused on the Gengar, so here you go, King Jirachi. And we will open up the DNC and the Aegis Slash Pack, so I am really, really excited for that as well. Now last, but definitely not least, we are sending over two packs from this amazing three pack blister from the Heart Gold Soul Silver era. It's a, uh, it's a three pack blister of two triumphants and one platinum base set. So he wants the platinum base set plus the triumphant pack and we're going to keep one for ourselves to open in this video. It's been quite a while since I opened up a Heart Gold Soul Silver era you know sealed product just because they're so hard to come by they're so rare and i just i look at it in my collection it just makes me so happy but today is the day we treat ourselves we get to open a triumphant pack hoping to pull that Mew Prime, that amazing, amazing card that's still eluding me. And of course, I'm gonna dedicate some time to admire this amazing Porygon promo. Look at the hollow patterning. Really, really amazing. It looks like it's running. Um, such an amazing promo, but of course, because it's put in the three pack blister for 10 plus years, it's not, it's not gonna be in a gradable condition, but I will still love to add it to my collection. So really happy there. And there we have it, we have the a loose Phantom Forces Triumphant and Platinum Base Set Pack, as well as a sealed blister of Next Destinies and Plasma Freeze. I know that this is gonna be an amazing addition to his collection, uh, and I'm really grateful that he was able to send me the Hidden Fates packs as well. So that was the amazing trade that I did with King Jirachi. I'm really happy to add those Hidden Fates items to my collection. And now we're gonna end this video doing one of my favorite things to do, opening up sealed Pokemon products. Alright, so I went ahead and cracked open this uh, RCSV box. What we have here is the Chilling Rain. I said it before and I'll say it a million times. I wish it was Evolving Skies. I would have been much more in love with this product if it was Evolving Skies, but I do have a lot of RCSV boxes. Um, I, I would be really upset if like five to ten years from now I didn't have these in my personal collection to open up from time to time. So that's why I bought a lot of RCSV boxes. Really love the product, mainly because of this gorgeous, gorgeous Black Star promo, this RCSV with Matt Cornette in the background, the Beautifly, the Bidoof, amazing, amazing card. We have Chilling Rain. We have two packs of Arceus pack arts for the Brilliant Stars, which is, um, I didn't even realize that until I sorted it out. And as well as a Sun and Moon Cosmic Eclipse pack. Really, really wonderful. So without further ado, let's get to crack and let's open up this Chilling Rain pack. Let's see what we have in here. All right, oops, I already messed up the pack trick, but it looks like we have a good Chilling Rain pack, so hopefully it's a, it's a really, really nice Altar card, but we'll take what we can get. We have the Fire Energy, Agatha, Rapid Strike, Scroll of the Skies, Dinah Tree Hill, a Rockruff, Swirlix, Ooh, oops, I didn't see anything there, Lapras, Dealing. Oh, that's a really cute dealing artwork, actually. I really like that. It looks, reminds me of Bambi. We have Galarian Slowpoke. Reverse Hollow should be next. Yes, it is. It's a Reverse Hollow Venipede. And let's see what our first uh, rare hit is. Oh, it's a Hollow Cobalion. Actually, the background's not that bad because it's the um, it's a metal. It's a steel type Pokemon, so that metal energy, and then it blends right into the great uh, silver background. We have that, now we have two packs of Brilliant Stars. Let's see what we have in these, these packs. All right, do my best to not spoil myself by not looking at the code card. Set that to the side, bring it out. Four to the front. Let's see what we have in here. 
We have the Water Energy, Kindler, Double Turbo Energy, Torkoal, we have Corfish, Sneasel, Duskull, we have Purloin, Shroomish, our Reverse Hollow should be next. It's a Reverse Hollow Snow Run, very cute, and our rare hit is a Clefable Non Hollow. Typical Brilliant Stars, but we have another opportunity. Let's see, we have a Trainer's Gallery cart in the second pack. Let's see what we have in here. Already we have a cute Minchino. We have the Psychic Energy, Tropius, Ultra Ball, Crawdon, Minchino, Chimchar, Chimeco, Golette, Corfish. Our Reverse Hollow is a Buizel. Now let's see, we have a hit in our second Brilliant Stars pack. Let's see what we have in here. Ooh, we have a Kingler V, very nice. So definitely a card I haven't pulled in the past. So let me sleeve that right up. All right, we have a we have a V hit, so better than a non-hollow rare like that Clefable. But last but not least, out of this box, we have the Cosmic Eclipse pack before we move on to the XY and Heart Gold Soul Silver Air. I'm looking at it right next to me. I am so, so excited to open up uh, those three packs. But before we can do that, Let's, let, I don't want to spoil myself. Let's see what we have in this Cosmic Eclipse pack in here. We have the Electric Energy, Dartrix, Throw, Araquanid, a Rockruff, Alolan Vulpix, Piplup, a Rufflet, Oddish. Ooh, our Reverse Hollow is the Gold Deck. I love this artwork, very, very nice. And our hit of Cosmic Eclipse is a Decidua, it's a hollow. Okay, it's a hollow pull, but not really the cards that you really want out of a Cosmic Eclipse. Setting that to the side, stars of the show absolutely cannot wait to open these packs up. Oh my gosh, these are really, really hard to come by now. And that was my final Phantom Forces blister. So hopefully this Deancey pack and this Aegis Slash pack will give us the goodies. And here is something I don't know enough about of course I spoil myself, um, but uh, that means there's something to look forward to in this pack, so hopefully it's a Gengar. Or, or I think the rarest card you really, really want out of Phantom Forces, but it's incredibly hard to pull, is the Silver Dialga. It's the only full art silver card in the entire TCG, but really, really hard to pull. But let's see if we have, did I already spoil myself? This is the rare hit, so I think there was no hollow, but this was a white coat card that is i'm so sorry that is so so weird all right so let's just go over let's go go through this pack let's see what we have in here yan mega dimension valley roller skates a fletchender wismer a swirlix a puchiana we have yanma we have a spiro is that our last card or do we have something behind here i think we have something behind here Let's see, we have a Clef Key Reverse Hollow, so that's so weird. It's a Phantom Forces booster, but the rare was a non-hollow Yan Mega hit. Very, very weird. So, I guess that's um one pack down, and I learned my lesson. No energy card, it's just three to the front. So hopefully this pack has something special in here for us. I learned my lesson. I will put the code card, oh my gosh, I flipped the code card. So it might not even matter actually because the, our last pack was a white code card, nothing in it. So let's see if we have, let's see if we have a hit in here. Let, we'll just go with it. We'll have Giraffe Rig, Firo, Dimension Valley, a Seawaddle, very, very cute Seawaddle, love that artwork. I have Chansey, ooh, Gumi, underrated, underrated, adorable Pokemon. I have Krabby. Bronzor. Our reverse hollow is the Gligar. I love that tongue. Very, very mischievous. And our hit of our second Phantom Forces pack is a Musharna non hollow rare. Okay, so doesn't matter. Pack trick doesn't matter for uh, Phantom Forces because they were both white code cards and we did not get a hit in either of them. So that's good to know in the future. 
And now we're down to our final pack. It's a hard gold soul silver triumphant pack. So very, very hard to come by these days. Um, I think the best hit out of this pack is definitely the Mew Prime and then as well as the uh, Legend cards. So hopefully, hopefully luck is on our side today and we get one of those, get to pull one of those. Regardless, this is just such a treat to always have. Does this have a code card? I don't think it has a code card. It does not have a code card. And I don't even know what the pack trick is. So we'll just go one by one through this pack. No pack trick, no card trick. Let's see what we have in here. We have Yanma. Very nice. We have Carvana. We have Apom. We have Lickitung. Ooh, Ilamise. Very, very nice. I love the artwork in this entire era. Just really, really gorgeous. Ooh, our reverse hollow is a Shuppet. That looks familiar, so I might have pulled this in the past. But nonetheless, an amazing ghost type Pokemon. A lot of Pokemon sticking their tongue out at me today. And our hit of this pack. Let's see if we have anything special in here. What do we have? We have, oh, yes we do. We have the top half of the Darkrai and Cresselia Legend card. Absolutely amazing. When you pull this Legend card, you definitely want the Darkrai over the Cresselia. So we have a hit. I am setting this down right now, getting a sleeve and sleeving this up. This is incredible. Very, very nice. Let me sleeve this up first before I take a closer look at the condition. Just an amazing amazing card the back is amazing oh my gosh it is there's a small nick up there but overall the condition is very very nice very very happy with that we have a legend card pulled from our one pack of hard gold soul silver triumphant absolutely amazing we have twins and we have the Porygon 2, and we have a last card, so it's three to the front, okay. Now the Porygon 2, very, very nice. And our final hit, this pack is a Indigo Plateau. This is amazing. So if, uh, if you don't know, this is from, you know, Heart Gold, Soul Silver, and or the original Silver as well. But we have a Celebi there. There's a lot of uh, small Easter eggs in this card art. There's that Celebi, which is already incredible. You have the Indigo Plateau. But if you, if you play the game, if you look at the map, the mountain that you see in the background is of the namesake of this channel. That is Mount Silver. That is the mountain that you climb to challenge Red at the end of the game. The final boss, Mount Silver, um, the final boss, Red, resides in Mount Silver. And you can see that on the map that the Indigo Plateau is right next to it. So an amazing card that I was able to pull the condition is not that bad on the back either, but really, really amazing. But of course, the hit of this video has to go to this Darkrai and Cresselia Legend card. Got that pulled. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed me breaking down the trade that I did with King Jirachi. King Jirachi, if you're watching this, thank you so much for the trade. I really appreciate the Hidden Fates products that you added into my collection. If you like this video, please make sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, make sure you subscribe to this channel as that would help me so, so much. I will see you in the next one. Mount Silver Hiker, out.